Rotterdam Sound Splash. Yes, we're at Rotterdam Sound Splash. This is your sister Janine telling you keeping it divine here at Rotterdam Sound Splash. Keep it highly and up full. Rastafari, I love and honor. Janine, send in love. This is Sunsplash TV, I'm Pierre Tosi and I'm so glad uh, to have the chance to talk once again with Janine back at Rototone with his own band this time, the Dub Treatment. So welcome back at Benny Kassim, welcome back at Rototone Sunsplash. Thank you, give thanks. First question ab about uh, the show and what about the, the vibes and uh, how the audience uh, was on stage tonight? Wow, well, you know, the people are listening, you know, and so you, you see them attentive, they're not jumping up and dancing like before, so it's like I am watching the European scene mature as well, so it's kind of airy, you know, yeah. And uh, big things are going for Janine. You have uh, 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 the second CD uh, coming out. The title is Nine. The, the release date it will be sept uh, the the ninth day of the ninth month of the year. So uh, probably it's an obvious question and a boring question for you. But uh, can you tell our listeners this symbology of of the number nine? It's very important for you. We are in a time when that information is so easily available to anyone who wants to know, you know? Um, but for I, my name is Janine. So nine was in my name, so I just follow my name through life, you know? And, um, and this is where it is now, where I am able to produce my first album, because this is my album now, you know? And, um, and release it on a day that is so significant to I in so many ways on so many levels. And uh, will it be different for, from, the first, um, from the first one? It will. It will. It will be. A, it is a different. It's a record of a different time, and it is more of you know I influence rather than writing a song on a rhythm or fitting a song on a rhythm. You know. Is more personal, it is more musical from I, so I am looking forward to sharing that. So it, it, it's you producing all the songs? Um, Co producing with four of the songs, four very good versions of I. Um, Kevin Campbell from Jamaica, uh, Brett Puraman, Lost Art Music from Belgium. Um, TPI from iGrade Records from St. Cry, yeah, and, and Franklin Benop Irving, producer of Steamers from Jamaica again. Um, so the music have to speak uh, for itself, but uh, in, in your single Humble Me, you're saying uh, the, the more I learn, the less I know, so it's a very deep fact about life. Yeah, yeah, and I think everybody can relate to that. Every individual can relate to, you know, realizing as you grow that, you know, you have to be flexible and expand because you cannot know all, you know, it's just step by step, you know, and growing and developing and, yeah, increase. And for uh, those who can't wait for uh, September 9, there's also another appetizer that is this mixtape. Nine mi yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I love, I love it. I love it. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, of uh, learnings on it. Yeah, because there's a lot of, of very interesting speechings and so uh, it's uh, all the songs of, of the mixtape uh, uh, will be on the album or no, there's the no, 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 not all of them. Some of them I produced just for that mixtape. You know. Um, but it is kind of preparation, you know? Some of the word sounds that are on it and the songs and even the vibe of it is to prepare ones for the album, same way. So when you hear it now, it, it sounds familiar rather than, you see me? So it's a little 
Yeah. And obviously, you know, the, 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 song are very, the songs are very good. We know that uh, all uh, the artists of um, the reggae revival are, are, are great uh, influences by Sisla Calongi. And you did this uh, medley, this acoustic medley, very, very suggestive. So long. Oh, I've always wanted to do that. Sisla inspired me musically as well. Just I considered him a jazz artist when I was listening to him because I was listening to jazz and he did appeal to me in the same way and then the words he was saying were so powerful and I know it impacted many of our generation like that you know and and beyond too so it was it was inevitable that I would pay tribute in that way. Is it me not even to a human being but to the work that he did at a particular time that was so meaningful, you know, yeah. And uh, again about the show, uh, you did a great rendition of John Lennon, Imagine, speaking about love and, and, and harmony. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that is an, it's just to find the things that we have in common, you know, because we are not short of information on the things that are different and all that is going wrong. So, is it me if I can be in a moment a voice of yeah, something different, something more toward healing than toward is it me? Then I would I would do that. That is a feminine responsibility. And uh, again about the new songs, uh, I heard on, on I heard on, on the on the mixtape and on stage this song. The title is Warfare. So can you tell us something no, the about the title is Unafraid. Oh, sorry, Unafraid. <laughs> yes, I. That rhythm is another vintage rhythm, an original Gladiator's rhythm, the dub of that Gladiator's rhythm. <laughs> and um, produced by Ben of Urban, same Steamer's producer. You know, and I hear that rhythm and using me, I wanted to share something on it. And I had written that poem a while forward, you know, some vibes that did reach even my own little nephew. But not to the extent of, you know, but artistic license pushed me there to say, what if, you know, it, it could be something that's serious. I hear about that all the time and nobody talks about that. And there is even a level at which economics pr protects that kind of, you know, nasty vibe too, you see me? So as a woman, I have to burn that, I have to burn that hot and I have to make it obvious that this is not about violence toward anybody. This is about accountability, you know what I mean? And it's the youth we're talking about. We can't bring certain vibrations to the youth. And I think all of us, man and woman, can agree, you see me? So. I know you're busy, you will have also the press conference. Uh, the very last question uh, is, uh, you said uh, the audience of Rototom is not just dancing and, and dancing and, and and having fun and acting, acting mad, but also listening very carefully. So do you have any special message for our listeners to uh, the worldwide massive that uh, is getting a very strong message for, for their life from Roots Music? Breathe deeply. The message is the same. Seek everything that you need within yourself. Know yourself. Breathe deep. Nourish yourself. Feed yourself well. Exercise and balance. Do it for yourself. Save yourself. Celestia the first. Thank you very much, Janine. Thank you very much. Free, free, free. Rise and be free.